Rihanna, Kanye West, Soldier Boy, Ray J. What do all of these artists have in common? They're not just musicians, but they're entrepreneurs that have used their music, their influence to become super rich. <laughs> there seems to be a trend that's going on, right? Musicians, especially the top dogs, the one with the ones with a lot of money, they seem to be going out of music. They seem to be focused on whatever else there is. I mean, we haven't gotten an album from Rihanna since God knows when. Kanye West is still producing albums, but he's succeeding as a designer. Ray J dropping headphones. Soldier Boy, Soldier Watch. He has some game console. He's doing all this stuff, even though he's trolled heavily. He's claiming that people are trying to buy it for $100 million. But all of these artists are using their influence to become mega millionaires. They've all departed from music, focusing on entrepreneurship because music doesn't pay, at least in the contracts that they were given, right? Music actually does pay. Ross has proven that music pays. <laughs> it does pay, but nobody wants you to know that. So they, you know, they're probably in some terrible contracts that they're just like, yeah, look, I don't want this slavery anymore. I just rather make my money. Although the life of a pop star sounds glamorous, it takes a lot of work to get there and even more work to maintain it, especially if you're a black woman during the golden era of pop stars. In order to be the main money makers, artists had to maintain a very busy schedule from dance rehearsals, 12 hour studio sessions, TV performances, eight month worldwide tours, and all while maintaining their public image, their life revolved around the brand. It's well known that the record industry is one of the shadiest businesses to be in. I'll put it to you this way. We are the biggest selling female group ever. Um, 10 million albums worldwide. We have worked very hard. We have been in this business for five years. And we are broke as broke can be. And we're not like trying to be a sad story. If that was the case, we would have been on everybody's talk show talking about how broke we are. We haven't done that. I know it's hard to believe because we've sold so many albums, but it is possible. That's the deal here. So, and we're not happy at all. Now add controversies and almost going bankrupt to the mix and you're sure to fall out of love and face burnout. And so all of them are focusing on using their influence to generate income. Cause I feel like they all feel they've fulfilled their purpose in the music industry and the music industry is a young game. They've already done it. They've been there, done that. They're in their thirties, Reggie Polly in his forties. It's time to move on, right? Make money, whatever. Right. But here's the thing. Music was the most important tool to give them the influence. And I, I honestly believe that music is the most powerful tool for celebritum for celebritum list one celebrity that is a super mega star that like they have crowds of people waiting outside for them that has not used music as a tool you guys are going to say the kardashians you guys are going to say the kardashians but guess what the kardashians weren't as big as they became until kim married kanye and it was through that music association her being invited to all the award shows all the whatever because remember when the first time we saw kim at the met ball and we were like what what is she doing there remember when we saw kim at like music shows and stuff i remember like back in the day maybe like 2008 she came to like one of the music video shows or something we're like what is she doing there she's like a freaking reality star what is she doing at mtv vmas but her being married to kanye now she had a right to be in those places and she opened those doors and then what happens all the Kardashians love to date musicians. Khloe Kardashian dating French Montana put her further in the music industry or their family. Kylie Jenner and Travis Scott. So they really cemented themselves in the music industry and that really boosted their careers because you cannot even try and tell me that Kim Kardashian in 2011 pre Kanye is what Kim Kardashian is what Kim Kardashian is today. Not even a chance. You could say Logan Paul, but guess what? Logan Paul too has music. I really want to, okay. I guess like the only ones that I could think of is like the Twilight 
stars right they had their moment their little stint but they're not super mega stars now right they had a little fad moment but I really guys I want you guys to think about this and leave a comment down below because I actually want to hear but this is what I'm saying right I this is what I think if you want to be a super mega star you need music to do that some way some shape some form you have to be aligned with music if you're gonna list an actor that actor better not have dated a musician because that counts that actor better not have been in a musical because that counts <laughs> that counts and look the twilight you could even like debunk the twilight thing because taylor swift da dated taylor lautner so you could debunk the whole time the whole twilight thing and twilight used to come out with these like music videos for you know so you could debunk that. That was still used as a tool to promote uh, Twilight, right? So I just really wanted you guys to think about this. L list a, a super mega star. I don't want some. I don't want some like Jennifer Lawrence. She's not a super mega star. She's not gonna have crowds of people screaming. Maybe just like in some random obscure country, they're gonna do that for Jennifer, Jennifer Lawrence. But nobody in Los Angeles, nobody in fucking America, is screaming. You know, crowds of people in America are not lined up for Jennifer Lawrence. I love her, but no one's doing that for an actor. So give me a celebrity that's a megastar that has not used music as a tool to get there. And don't tell me Donald Trump because he's not a celebrity. He's a freaking president. Or <laughs> he's a freaking politician. There's a total difference there. Now I'm talking about celebrity, not politician, right? Um, but let me know. Let me know. Leave a comment down below. Let me know. <laughs> whatever the case is let me know what you think but my point back to rihanna and all these people they used music as a tool to gain influence and then they use social media to retain that influ influence and to own their audience social media as that tool and now they sell whatever products they want to sell what's the lesson i always say this in all my videos guys learn the music business learn about business in general and then use your influence as in music to dominate across different fields. And I say this time and time again, you guys wanna be big musicians? The way that you become successful at, at anything is by doing that thing. So think about it this way, right? You wanna be a mega superstar musician that is in control, has ownership, is in control of your business and sells the products and services that you wanna do. So how do you get there? By doing that. Even though you're doing it at a small scale on your own, you keep doing it, you do, you implement the right tools and eventually you're going to get to that place. Not everyone, but hey, but it's possible. So let's put it this way, right? If you were a micro soldier boy, right? A soldier boy with no following right now, what would you do? Start a drop shipping store, which is what soldier boy did anyway. He, he started a glorified drop shipping store with Shopify right and sold his own products which were for, he did he did drop shipping so what's drop shipping you, you set up a shopify store you go to aliexpress you buy the stuff for cheaper from the manufacturer in china Bro, so when your customers order it on your store you buy it in china that's exactly what soldier boy did with all his tech products <laughs> he just got it in china and he probably had to scale because he has such a big following. But you start small with your existing following. That's how you can start selling products to your following right now. And the more that you do business, the more that you understand how business works. And the more that you won't put yourself in a position not to get exploited by record labels. Because they're there to exploit you. Let's be real. It's really important that you understand if you want to make it, if you want to do whatever, how you get there is by doing it. We're not in the 2000s, we're not in the 90s where you had to wait for someone to give you the keys. You just have to just do it. Do it on a, a micro nano level. Do it on a nano level. Do it now with your 50 subscribers, 1000 friends, subscribers. Start building, get Ask the Artist Starter Kit to learn how to actually build a following online. You know, get to a point where you're getting like me. I'm growing so fast. I can show you how to get as many views as I'm getting. How to build your following as I'm doing it. I will show you how to do it. This is what I'm doing. You know, get the artist started kit. I break that down there. And so you guys, you do this, you start doing it and you just build and you expand. And it's literally what you see. The Justin Bieber is the expansion. 
of what the smaller micro level was. It starts off with like one raindrop. Let me tell you something. There's no difference between a raindrop and a thunderstorm apart from scale. I'll say that again. There's no difference between a raindrop and a thunderstorm apart from scale. So it and it always drizzles first. In fact, it's always dry first. There's nothing. And then there's one dry raindrop and they all start coming down. And then before you know it, it's raining. It's actual raining. Then it's torrential rain and then it's a thunderstorm and you start you see what i'm saying it's all the same thing right so it's just a nano level so you have to start at the nano and you eventually you have the tools with social media to build and i'm going to show you how to use those tools on the artist starter kit use that and you build and you build and you build and you expand and that's just what it is that's all it is. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. Leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, all the above. My name is Kenim, and see you next time.